don't let anyone tell you who you are. You can be shy, you can read a lot, you can be a good student. That doesn't mean that you're not a leader. People become leaders in their own time. And I think that is something that if I could look back at my 16 year old self and tell my 16 year old self, that is the one thing I would tell myself. There were times in my life when I felt like I wasn't smart enough um, and that no one was going to pay attention to anything I had to say and that I really didn't have anything to say that was worth anybody listening to in the first place. And I would say that um, don't underestimate, underestimate your abilities. Um, continue to read books, continue to learn. All of the things we are learning will come to fruition at a time and it will be important for you to know the things that you have learned. So have patience with yourself, take care of yourself, love yourself, learn to love yourself and know that you have value and you are worthy simply because you are here. Those are the things that I would say. In the times that we're living in and what's going on in the world right now, a lot of us have to change what we've wanted to do or plans that we've made. And we've had to, you know, accommodate our schedule to what has been going on and to be flexible with whatever we're doing. And I was wondering if you had any advice for us on how we can be flexible or more flexible with how we do things during this time? Well, first I want to um, congratulate you for finishing out your school year this year, which I know for some of you may have been, you know, graduating, maybe going from middle school to high school, whatever it is that you have accomplished during this end of COVID. I wanna say congratulations. I don't know if I would have been able to keep up with my studies and still do things in community during COVID. Um, if I was your age, I might've been that person who just wanted to stay inside and not do anything. So I congratulate those of you who have gotten out and who are doing things. I would say change is what happens. I think we can all, think about different things, but what is consistent, and this is going to sound like a dichotomy, but what is consistent in our lives is change. So how do we prepare for something that is unpredictable that might come along? And that is what I think it is important for you to do now. So for example, many people are at home because they can't go out. So is there something you have always wanted to learn to do that you can do while you're at home? I know that I had been reading about a young man who was in the Boy Scouts who always liked sewing, but thought sewing was for girls. And so he decided to sew masks so that he could give them away to people who were distributing food to people who were hungry. So he learned a skill, he was doing something that he liked, he got involved in a community service project, he got to know more people in the community. So think about this time when you thought you wanted to do something different as a time to figure out what you can do. For just one other person, is there an older person in your community who might just need to have somebody knock on the door and see if they need anything? I think all of those things stop us from being self-focused and help us to focus on other people in our community and they bring change because we are introducing ourselves to people who we may not know and we may start to do things that we never thought we were going to do. And so that flexibility is really important in your life. Some, something that us leaders struggle with is, um, is distractions in our life that can come from uh, peers or so social media um, or our day, in our day-to-day -day lives, just anything around us that distracts us from our purpose or our goals. Um, do you have any advice on how to overcome distractions in our lives? So for me, there are times when um, I can get distracted and there, so 
that is a message to me that I need to step back from what I'm trying to accomplish, take a moment. And for me, it's about meditation. It's about reflection. It's just about quieting my mind so that I can see what my priorities are and move back to them. Sometimes that could be as easy as getting up and taking a walk around the block and then coming back and doing the thing that I had intended to do in the first place. But when I find when I can be easily distracted, it is because I am not focusing because I don't understand what the purpose is of whatever it is that I'm doing. So walking away from it, just taking that walk around the block or, you know, getting up and, and sitting on the floor and meditating for a little bit can help me refocus on why I decided to do whatever it was I want, am supposed to do in the first place and why it's important to get that thing done. But I think even as an adult, we can get distracted um, and we can procrastinate. I think that it is, I know it's not necessarily so much as an age thing as it is a wisdom thing and you can gain wisdom at any age.